Mayor of Annapolis says no to national politics. Mayor Michael Pantelis tells uh, city employees to keep it local after a post on the Annapolis Police Department's Facebook page. WJZ is live. Political reporter Pat Warren explains it concerned recent remarks about President Trump. Pat. That's right. And Mayor Pantelis says this has nothing to do with First Amendment rights. This is about using government social media websites to voice personal opinions about politics. He says no, whether it's positive or negative, don't do it. You. We President Trump's you, speech to law enforcement last month prompted a Facebook you. post by the Annapolis chief of police. The president spoke of arresting suspected gang members. Please don't be too nice. Like when you guys put somebody in the car and you're protecting their head. I said, you can take the hand away, okay? Annapolis Police Chief Scott Baker posted, whether he was serious or joking, his comments do not help build trust between citizens and police. And the department has policies and procedures in place regarding how we interact with those we arrest. Violations of these policies are considered serious and will be thoroughly investigated. That produced a storm of comments on the department's Facebook page, prompting Annapolis Mayor Michael Pantelides to send a reminder to staff. In an email obtained by the Capital Gazette, he wrote, As I have said many times in our department head meetings, we are not to get involved in national issues or controversy. To reiterate, do not post anything, whether it's positive or negative, about the president or national politics. Focus your time and energy on helping to make the city of Annapolis better. In a statement to WJZ, Chief Baker says, My intention was not to make a political statement, but to make a statement about building trust and respect between citizens and police. The mayor and the police chief did have a meeting, and both agree that this is, again, not about First Amendment rights. It's about not using city government social media websites to express personal opinions. I'm Pat Warren reporting live. Now back to you. Pat, thank you. And WJZ received a statement from the mayor of Annapolis saying, in part, we work for the citizens of Annapolis, which includes all political parties.